My name is Stanley Marks. Uh, I reside in Denver, Colorado, and I am a criminal law lawyer. I handle cases throughout the United States, uh, various levels of state and federal cases. Well, I was actually a public defender in the early 1970s. Since then, I've tried many federal and state cases and handled cases of, at all levels in state and federal jurisdictions throughout the United States. You know, I've probably done the whole gamut, uh, literally from DUI cases, driving under the influence on the state level, uh, first degree murder death cases I've handled on the state level. On the federal level, I uh, have a substantial amount of experience on drug cases, drug related cases, mortgage fraud, real estate fraud, security fraud type of cases. I'm admitted in Colorado federal court. I'm also admitted in the United States Supreme Court, but I can go to any federal jurisdiction, seek permission of the court to handle the case. On the state level, I can do the same thing. Preliminarily, um, there is a lot that goes on in a prosecution when a party is first arrested that the individual who ultimately may be charged really is not aware of what is relevant or what is important in the prosecution of the case. I think it's critical that upon the, uh, your being advised or even have a suspicion that you're being investigated, federal or state level, and potentially in anticipation of a grand jury, when you have some reason to believe you are under any scope of investigation, contact a criminal defense lawyer. That is the manner in which you should proceed because you are not well advised as to what you may say that may be damaging. And you may make a mistake and actually provide information that causes a case to be filed when otherwise it may not be. I think that in selecting a criminal defense attorney, since most people who are selecting a criminal defense attorney are not experts themselves in criminal law, you need to have a good gut feeling as to whether you feel comfortable with the individual. But I think you have to look at the work that they've performed and over a period of years and what their experience and background is. Well, I've done, as I've indicated, um, mortgage fraud. I've also handled cases uh, involving securities fraud, inside trading, uh, I've done penny stock cases in federal court, etc. Uh, I've handled first degree murder cases, death qualified. Um, one well known case was in southern Colorado, which was a first degree murder case wherein my client was charged with hiring someone to kill her husband, who was a narcotics officer. The evidence will show that Donna Yockleach was sadistically taunted and terrorized by Dennis Shockledge, causing her to act out of imminent danger for her life. I've represented CEOs of corporations. I've represented doctors on Medicaid and Medicare fraud cases. I've represented numerous people who are claimed to be in the country illegally or have entered illegally. I've handled issues regarding their illegal entry, work with interpreters, a large number of my clients actually do not speak English, and we coordinate that. I've handled numerous drug cases uh, from southern Arizona to Ohio. I've handled numerous cases of personal possession. I've handled cases of excessive use of drugs by physicians uh, in the distribution of drugs such as Oxycontin and the likes. It doesn't cost anything to call me. It doesn't cost anything to consult with me. You know, once I have a greater understanding of what the case is all about, then I can give a person an idea of what the fees would be. But historically, I think outside the box, and I try to come up with creative ways to defend a case. There are many, many criminal defense lawyers, and they have, in a lot of ways, some very similar backgrounds. But I think the thing that I enjoy the most about criminal law is it allows you to uniquely apply your own ability and expertise and come up with solutions that are uh, not the norm.